Easy Equities het het moeilijk gemaakt vir enig iemand om een voet in die andele deur te kry. Ek het uitvoerende hoofd Charles Savage, gesels nou oor hierdie platform. Hi Charles. Hi Duan, thanks for having me on. Charles, uh, let's talk about your, your, your platform. There, there's so many different things when it comes to the stock market and so many new technology that comes to the market. Um, tell us about your specific platform. Yeah, I've been doing this for 17 years now and 13 years into my journey, I came to the realization that what we were doing as stockbrokers and as asset managers was really building cockpits to fly Boeings and re came to the realization our customers weren't licensed to fly planes. And so we needed to radically depart from the technology that we were spending money on and build interfaces that engaged, that educated, that entertained, that changed the language and the style yeah. and fundamentally made it easy for people to own shares because very few people in South Africa, less than half percent of our country own shares. So that's a, that's a very disappointing statistic. The problem though isn't just local, it's actually a global problem. So if you go to places like Russia or India, less than 1% of their populations. But the funny thing is when you walk around the streets and you ask people, do you want to own shares? The answer every single time is yes. Is yes. Mm. And so you can't blame the customer. The industry, the stockbrokers, the asset managers needed to change the dialogue, needed to change the products and services and create a framework that engaged the customer. And so that's what we've been doing. Okay, so let's talk about that platform that you created because I always say there's this big gap uh, between information and, uh, and the stock market or the client information and the stock market. How are you making that process simpler? Yeah. Or, or, or how are you making it easier for me to understand the process at least? I think, as, as I mentioned, stockbrokers, we were almost um, incentivized to intimidate our customers to make ourselves look smart. Mm. So we didn't pass on knowledge, we didn't educate you, we didn't tell you uh, or build your confidence in and buying shares is actually a relatively easy thing to do yeah. and so what we've got to do is build a, firstly build a platform that educates and today which is different to 10 or 15 years ago is we've got a fantastic platform where people can stand behind real players and watch their moves and I'm talking about Twitter and Facebook and you know snapchat and all of those kind of platforms so today you can stand behind a celebrity and watch every move but you can also stand behind an investor and see what he's doing in the stock market so education get can get to the people now and yeah. smartphones have put education and financial services in your pocket and so for us it was about ensuring that we were engaged and uh, and capable of delivering messages through those mechanisms and created a platform that really didn't intimidate the user mm. and provided them with a mechanism to educate themselves with small amounts of money first yeah build their confidence so that over a medium to long term they can take up more yeah. responsibility in their finances. Because a lot of the times the reason why I don't play the stock market is because the perception is that I have to have a lot of money in order to, to, to buy shares. Uh, in your case, what, what's the minimum amount that I can actually invest? It's, it's small. I mean, you can invest one rand in a share if you like. And, you know, that's one of the problems the industry had. We had all of these minimums, minimum investment value, mm. minimum monthly account fees, minimum data fees, minimum, minimum, minimum. And when you stack all the minimums up, what you end up with is you exclude 99% of the population. So what we had to do as a strategy was abandon minimums. So there is no minimum value. So you can take 100 Rand, buy 10 Rand of 10 shares. You can buy 100 Rand of Nuspass, yeah. which is a 2,200 Rand share. Or you can buy 1 Rand of 100 shares. Yeah. Um, and so you can start small. You can use your coffee money and start to educate yourself by playing the game. Yes. And I'm, I've learned every, all the complex games I've played in my life. I didn't learn by reading a rule book. I'm just not that kind of guy. You know, I'm not going to read 30 pages of Monopoly to learn how to play the game. Mm. I stand around, watch other players, and then learn from their moves. And so for me, we needed to create a platform where people could do that. So you can use Monopoly money too. We've got a demo platform, which is real markets, real time, just play, play money. But then you can also take small amounts of capital, 10 Rand, 15 Rand, 100 Rand, and play real markets, real money, yeah. and educate yourself along the way. I like, I like what you said about uh, buying Nasper shares, because they're already so expensive, mm. but your platform has made it possible for me to buy Nasper hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it was interesting. When we were building the platform, we didn't think about about the fact that people couldn't afford to buy the shares they love. And think Naspas, Capitec, PSG, all the shares that have gone up a lot over the last 10 years. And we got to the point where we almost launched the platform and we realized that what we, what we were building was this supermarket for buying shares, but we were inviting you in, the whole country in, and when you got there, there was going to be a huge amount of disappointment because you couldn't afford the shares you wanted. And so we had to solve that problem. And what we did is we fractionalized share ownership, so now you can buy one ten thousandth of a share. Sure. And that allows, it did two things for the user. One is you can own the shares you love, regardless. There's no excuse. So you can buy one round of Nuspass or one round of a share like Berkshire Hathaway, which is $150,000 stock. Uh, but the second thing it does is it allows us to construct portfolios 
that for a million rand investor is identical to the portfolio of a hundred rand investor. And so it solved two big problems for the industry. Let everyone have access, democratize access to shares and democratize access to asset management products. Charles, thank you so much. Fascinating platform and probably South African. We love it. Thank you cool. so much. Thanks very much.